ever regret being an artist? I don't regret being an artist at all. I think it's, um, there is still something absolutely magical about taking raw material, paint, wood, canvas, you know, and, um, and making something out of that which actually surprises yourself. I grew up in, a, uh, in South Wales in a city called Swansea, but in the suburbs of Swansea. And I often think, you know, what was the thing that made you aware of what an artist is or what an artist does? I don't think my exposure to art was that great as a child. Uh, I think for many years I thought actually I'd like to be a surgeon. And uh, it was sort of weighing up between being a surgeon and an artist. And I don't know how I would have thought that. I think humour is very important and I'm, um, I, I definitely think it's interesting that uh, people would find the work playful or funny or surprising. Um, so I'm very happy for people to, uh, to find the work humorous. You are a Londoner and you are an artist in London. So how is it like being an artist in London? London is a, you know, it's an incredibly culturally rich city. And um, one thing's for sure, it's, you know, to be an artist, the one thing that you can do is really feed off the culture of the place. And that's how it appears in many, many forms. And whether that's within the contemporary art world or whether that's in its collections and museums or the diversity of its kind of populations or its markets. It's, it, that side of things is, is quite, you know, is quite incredible. London practically is also a very big city. It takes a long time to get around. Uh, it's harder to get things done. Geraint, it's something that most people are curious about how an artist spends his day in the studio. So how do you start your day and what do you do in the studio? It really depends on what I'm doing and where I am with the work. Um, and the work goes through cycles. Um, so first it's, it's probably around trying to generate ideas through drawing and so that might be sitting at uh, a desk and with a, a big marker pen and pieces of A4 paper and just trying to work through a few ideas. I do work to um, particular, I guess, research questions or particular s sort of ideas, ideas around uh, portraiture, uh, ideas around our uh, landscape and our relationship to the natural world, um, maybe ideas a little bit around uh, the hobbyists, around masculinity, around creativity. So you sort of work to some of these ideas and a day might start with just literally spending a couple of hours with a marker pen trying to make really quick drawings to sort of envisage what, uh, you know, the next idea, generating thoughts, generating ideas. So Geraint, we are artists, we all have influences, role models in the history. Whose assistant would you like to be in the history, art history? Mine is Leonardo da Vinci. I don't, yeah. <laughs> Who's assistant? I don't know, actually. Um, maybe... Maybe Velasquez, maybe, I suppose. I, d I don't know... I suppose you'd have to think about how fascinated you'd be just to watch these artists make work and the context in which they were working at the time, um, their relationship to power, etc., and how much you'd wonder about the artists themselves and the, their sort of character. Being an artist can be, can be hard and it can be a slog and it can be sometimes tedious, but it also has lots of rewards as well. What are your suggestions to young artists? emerging artists, maybe one sentence. Don't be afraid to make opportunities mm. for yourself. Mm.